Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create a custom color property using particles so that you can render a mission in Redshift. In this starter scene, I have a sphere which has an icosahedron topology, 30 segments, and I have a mesh emitter that is using this sphere to emit particles on the points. I'm emitting a shot of particles and in the properties the speed is zero. So when I press play you will see some static particles generated on the surface of the sphere. Now let me make the sphere invisible. So now I want to apply some sort of color only to use in the emission. As you can see down here all my particles are green and if I go and activate redshift you will see that we have these green spheres. Now I want to go and apply a second color and uh, usually I would go here and get a modifier or get a color mapper. I would go down here and in the color mapper I can target the actual color which means that if I advance this you will see that the colors are going to change based on the age. But I don't want to affect the actual color of the particles. I want to affect a custom color. Now this custom color currently doesn't exist. So let's go to the project settings, simulation, particles, and add a custom property. We need to make sure that it's of type color A, and uh, let's name it emission. Now in the color mapper, I'm going to go to the custom. Now we've activated this drop down, and we can find the emission. Now I want this color not to be controlled by age. I want to control it using a field. And in here, I'm going to create a random field. And if I rewind and press play, you will see that my particles now are green and nothing else has happened because I'm not using this custom property yet. Now, one more thing I would like to do is go to the color remap and remap this random field to a gradient, black and white. And I want to make the white go in the middle. So I have a few of these particles emitting white light. Now, if I rewind and press play, this custom attribute has been recorded on the particles. And we need now to set a redshift material that can read that. So let's go to the materials, double click, open the material, and let's go and create two user data nodes. They both need to be of type color. All you have to do is select the one you want for the color of the particles, although the particles are already colorized, but it's good practice to go here and say standard particles color and put this in the color. Let's go over here. Let's expose the emission color and let's set this to one. And let's go here now and select the standard particles emission and let's connect it to the emission color. Fantastic. Let's close the node editor and let's go and apply the material to the particle group. If for any reason you don't see anything updating, just go here and refresh your Redshift view. And uh, just like that, now we have emission from whatever this random field is doing. If you go to the color remap, you can always narrow this down or move it around. And uh, of course you need to advance your particle simulation so that the new custom attribute will register. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.